at the post itself. We can see that the price displayed is 294.88 and if we go to the Amazon website itself, the website price here, if we look closely, is actually 299.99. However, if you look for even more closely, you can see there are 26 new ones for a cheaper price. This gives your website more credibility with users because they can then find the cheapest possible product price for each of the products you list. Most people will be listing the most expensive one, which is the display price, and not the cheapest one. Therefore, your website, when people searching via Google, etc., looking for cheapest possible prices for particular items, will find your website faster because your website is displaying the cheapest price. This then means that more people are going to be viewing your website, clicking on the links, and hopefully you'll be getting more commission for each of the products sold. If we come back now to our ShopperPress website, I just want to show you some of the configuration options for the Amazon integration. If we take a look at this example product we imported earlier, we can see we have this Buy It Now from Amazon button. When the user clicks this option, they will go directly to the Amazon website with your affiliate link. If you wanted your website to display a shopping cart, allowing users to add more products to a shopping basket, we do this in the admin area of ShopperPress under One General Setup and rather than having the shopping cart option which will display the actual button we change this to the Amazon store with shopping cart. If I then refresh the page you'll notice an Add to Cart option is displayed instead. The Add to Cart option rather than clicking this button and taking the user to the actual Amazon website directly it allows the user to add more than one product to the shopping cart. When the user then goes through the shopping cart process, the Amazon groups all of the products they've added to the basket and takes them together to the Amazon website for checkout. You then go back to your ShopperPress website and using the admin area import tools, repeat the process of importing products into your website. It is generally a good idea not to import too many products too fast, otherwise this could be seen as spam. You can, if you like, rather than having to manually import each of the products, use the schedule setup tool to set up a schedule of how often you would like the system to automatically import products. It will then go through each of the page manually every hour, every two hours, etc. and import all of the products it finds. This may be a good idea for those people who are short of time, however it isn't my recommended way to set up affiliate websites as all of the product data is still the same as everybody else's and it is still a good idea to go back, edit and make the data unique. If you simply want to create a website full of duplicate data and duplicate content then sure you can go ahead and import the data using this method. But it is definitely my recommendation to import a product, say 5 to 10 products per day in using the post tool edit the product to create a more unique description and title. ShopperPress has built in integration for eBay, allowing you to import products directly from the eBay website. To do this, you go into the admin area of ShopperPress. On the left hand side, under Import Data, click on the tab at the top which says eBay. Initially, you begin by configuring the eBay settings by clicking on the eBay Extra Search Options. You enter your eBay API ID. You get this ID from the eBay Developers Account area. You can then specify any additional criteria such as product sorting, which store to import from, or if there is a specific store within the actual eBay website that you'd like to search through, you can enter this store name here. We then go ahead and start the query for our searches. So in this example we're going to try DVD player. You then specify which category to import any of the products found into. And then click search. The search will then connect to eBay and find any of the products that match the search keywords. 
Using the tools we can add the product to, to our website or view the product if we would like to verify more about the product information. Clicking on the add to product will then add the product to your website and we can click on the post to confirm that it's been added correctly. The eBay API is very limited in some of the settings. They do not allow you to import any of the content information about the product. The only information they allow you to get is the picture, the title and the price. We therefore use eBay integration to simply redirect users to the eBay website using our affiliate link. If we take a quick look at the website, we can see here the eBay product. When a user clicks on the product, they are automatically redirect it to the eBay website with our affiliate link. This is done with the custom field, redirect. If we turn off the redirect and go back to our website to have a look at the product itself, we can see that there is very limited information about the product. However, if you wish to create your affiliate website with more unique content, you can turn off the redirect for each of the posts and manually enter post content. This will then use the find out more button which does the same job as the redirect but as a button. You then repeat the process of importing products using the eBay search tool until your website is full.